Coach's comments are being brought to you by Southside Auto Tech after the Stars 4-1 victory here tonight. We're joined by the head coach of the Lincoln Stars, Rocky Russo, after Lincoln picks up the win in this one. And Rocky, a game like this, you guys were able to come out. You got a couple of goals in that first period, first tallying at the 44-second mark, and then a few minutes after that as well. A really strong start tonight was huge for you guys. What did you really like early on in this game? You know, we've had some, some struggles at times to start games here, and they have a lot of energy in this building. And so, you know, we really focused on making sure that we were we were attending to our details right off the hop. And, um, you know, obviously we, you know, we, we love the fact that we scored in the second shift, but more than anything, we wanted to make sure that we kept them off the board. And, and uh you know, that was uh, that was good. Then we get a goal there, essentially a power play goal. I think it might have went in a second after the period or the power play ended, but um, couldn't ask for a better first period there by the guys. Power play continues to roll. Like you said, that one was just moments after that power play ended, the one that Doug Grimes scored. Tanner Ludke would add one later as well. What was clicking on it here tonight? It wasn't, I mean, Ludke's goal was pretty beautiful, that one. But before, besides that, you know, it was a lot of just getting in the crease and doing some damage. What'd you like on the power play tonight? Well, the again, poise, poise and patience, and and uh, you know that that first power play unit did a great job of keeping pucks in, um, not not forcing plays, being smart, being simple, um, taking what was given, and and uh, obviously great pass by uh, by Mason and a great finish by Tanner. You guys now have won five games against Tri-City this season. You snapped that three-game losing streak that was here at the Fierro Center. What do you have to do tomorrow night to finish off and pick up your fourth win in a row overall? You know what, it's it's simply a matter of us playing our way. And, uh, you know, I, there's, there's, some, you know there's some unbelievable uh, decisions made by the referee tonight. Poor Dashiell gets a, a nasty knee-on-knee -knee hit. That's the definition of a, a five-minute major, and they called it two. And then, and then, uh, you know, their guy gets touched in the corner and folds like a cheap suit. And all of a sudden, there's a five-minute major on Mangan. So, you know, my hopes are that uh, we can just play tomorrow, and that uh, and that we don't have to worry about all the extra stuff. And and uh, I know it's a, it's a tremendously challenging job to, to officiate that at this level, and, and uh, especially with one guy. It's just it's so hard for one guy to do it, but, um, you know, it's just really unfortunate that, that, you know, at one point it's 5-1, them power plays, you know, and, and uh, our guys are just grinding and they're fighting through it, and, and uh, I, I just love how we were able to come together tonight. Uh, kill penalties, block pucks, not uh, you know, not let that get the best of us. We were able to be patient and poised, and uh, when when we needed him, Cameron was there to to make big saves for us. I like that you brought that up. That second period, you guys were on the defensive a lot, but really that was the turning point in this game. Surviving all those power plays that Tri City had, and let's ask, we'll cap things with that. How is Dashiell Oliver doing after this? After taking that knee on knee hit? Well, we'll have to see. Um, I, I, I think he's okay. I think it got him uh, hopefully optimistically above the knee and in the quad, but um, you know that's for Corey to, to evaluate him a little bit further. And um, you know it's just it, it was that, that is textbook knee on knee, and, and the kid stuck his knee out, and uh, he deserved a five minute major. And, and then again, you know Mangs Mangs goes in, gets the kid in the hips. When your hips touch the wall first. You don't you don't fold like that unless you're diving intentionally and and it looked like you got shot. Never seen anything like it. Uh, there might be a sniper here in the in the the uh, the rafters, but uh, I mean Mangan's pretty tough. He's nails. He's, he's a pretty strong kid, but um, I I don't think that uh, that hit uh, warranted that response by by their player. But um, you know there was some there was some award winning diving going on by them tonight and and. Uh, you know, it's actually pretty impressive to see that they get away with over and over and over again, but that uh, kind of is what it is. Well, you know, you guys kept your composure throughout this one, and big reason why you guys got the win here tonight. Rocky, thank you for the time. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Thank you. I'm the head coach of the Lincoln Stars, Rocky Russo, joining us, and this has been Coach's Comments, brought to you by Southside Auto Tech.